Hello everybody, we are in Stirling Range National Park in the southwest of Australia. Behind me there is the beautiful view of the Mount Trio. We stop here because we found this uh, big plantation of canola just nearby the road. But the reason why we stop here is because we found uh, this strip of native bushland between the plantation and the road on my right. This native bushland close to the plantation and along the plantation has an important ecological role. In fact, can provide native pollinators that can be useful for the agricultural crops too. This bushland is the terminal for the presence of native pollinators and of course also for honeybees. This bushland contains many vegetation plants from the understory vegetation, the shrubs here, up to the canopy level. Look at the eucalypts over there. Beyond maintaining the ecosystem biodiversity, this bushland maintains also the biodiversity of native pollinators in terms of native bees, beetles, wasps and flies, for example. That's why it's so important to maintain these bushland strips along the roadside close to the plantations. In this way, the native pollinators can provide a pollination service also to agricultural crops. If we observe the vegetation, in the plantation we have just one type of flora species, but here we have plenty of them. Many flora species, more pollinators more service, more pollination service for agriculture too. Here we have an example where a road that is generally considered a physical barrier to the life forms, instead here as is accompanied by these strips of bushland which is an ecological corridor represents an effective way for connecting not just the natural ecosystem but also the agricultural systems. Finally, if we encourage these ecological corridors along the roads close to the plantations, we can ensure a better provision of pollination service for the entire ecosystem but also for the horticultural and agricultural crops that all we eat and love. Thank you for your listening. See you next time.